In this tutorial, you will learn how to configure your SMS mobile software by creating projects, modifying the data storage location, creating new management and resource tracking items, and editing the general settings of the software. As a general note, the screens of SMS Mobile and SMS Mobile PC vary slightly in where the menu items are placed. If you are running SMS Mobile on a handheld device, all menu options will be accessed by tapping the menu button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Whereas with SMS Mobile PC, the menu options are listed across the top of the screen. Although they are in different locations, the functionality between the two are identical. When you open SMS Mobile for the first time, you will be prompted to create a new project. If you have previously exported data from the SMS desktop software to SMS Mobile, you will not have to create a new project as a project is automatically created when you export data to SMS Mobile. This project name will be displayed on the home screen of the SMS Mobile software. Click OK after inputting the name. Projects are an excellent way to separate data into different groups or folders, allowing you to easily access the data you are looking for. You can create new, edit existing, and even delete projects by going to the File menu and choosing Projects. The Projects dialog will give you details about the project including the last sync and open date, data path, and data folder size. Projects created in SMS Mobile can be synced back into existing projects in the SMS desktop software or used to create new projects. You can also modify the location that SMS Mobile is recording data to by going to the File menu and choosing Data Location. The options displayed will vary depending on your installation type. SMS Mobile PC users will be able to choose between an internal storage location or a memory card or USB drive. You can also choose to automatically copy your data folder to a removable device when you click SMS Mobile on this screen. If you are running SMS Mobile on a handheld device or PDA, you can choose to either save the data to the internal device storage or on a memory card. To add a new grower, farm, and field, go to the setup bar and select the grower, farm, field button. To add a new grower, click the add button. Enter the grower's name on the next screen, as well as any additional information that is needed. Click add. Click the add button to add a new field. Enter a name for the farm and use the grower drop down to link the new farm to the correct grower. There is additional information that can be entered on the Area and Descriptions tab. Click Add. Finally, click the Add button to create a new field. Enter the field name and link the field to the appropriate grower and farm and input any additional information on the Area and Other tabs before clicking the Add button. Click Close to return to the main setup menu. Products can also be added from the setup menu. Click on the Products icon. The Product Definition screen will open where you can edit and delete existing products or choose to add new. The Product Group drop-down across the top can be used to filter the list of products that are being displayed to those that you are currently working with. Click Add to create a new product. Input a name for the product and assign it to the correct product group, usage, and crop type using the drop-down menus. Additional details about the product can be inputted using the Mix, Other, Harvest, Count, Mass, and Volume tabs across the top. Click Add once all desired information has been inputted. Click Close to exit the product definition screen. Resource tracking entries such as operators, vehicles, implements, and containers can be created by clicking on the resource tracking icon. Use the Add, Edit, and Delete buttons to input, update, or remove any resource tracking items. Click Close to return to the main setup window. You can input pests to be used during crop scouting by clicking on the pest icon. You can add new, edit existing, and delete pests from this screen. 
If you have a long list of pests, you can use the pest type drop-down to filter the list of pests so that you can easily find the information you are looking for. Click Add to create a new pest. There are many items available to input for each new pest. You will need to enter a name and choose the pest type for each new pest, but all other entries are optional. While they are optional, they can be helpful when scouting or viewing your crop scouting data sets in reports and maps. Click Add after all necessary items have been inputted and click Close to return to the Setup menu. The Setup menu is also where the general settings for SMS Mobile can be modified. Click on the General Settings icon. In the dialog that opens, you can modify the General Map settings, logging, and navigation options. The General tab will allow you to select the measurement system, either English or metric, font size, and if you want the software to automatically select your field by location when in the operating modes. The Map Display tab allows you to choose to either show a normal or a large map size, manage the refresh frequency for satellite images, update the map redraw rate, and choose how to display the raw values, either as points or smart rectangle maps. You can even change the default logging color on this screen. On the Logging 1 tab, you can update the logging interval and minimum travel distance, as well as inputting the default swath width when in the coverage logging mode. The coverage overlap level will be used when the virtual implement switch is enabled and you are logging coverage information. The Logging 2 can be used to adjust the default size used when a new scouting site is recorded and also the polygon and line creation options. The Navigation View tab will allow you to adjust the settings whenever the navigation tool is being used, such as when you are soil sampling. Finally, the About tab will display your data location, application version, operating system, .NET framework version, and the amount of memory available. You have now learned how to create and edit projects, create new management items, resource tracking entries, and edit the general settings of SMS Mobile. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.